Hope y'all like ketchup, uh, cause I just spent $70 on a bottle. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching UAM Collectibles. If this is your first time here, and you enjoy Funko Pops, designer toys, My Hero Academia, and all collectibles pertaining to My Hero Academia, you are in the right spot. So hit that subscribe button if you like what you see after this video. You don't have to hit it right now. You don't have to hit it right now. We're, we're good, we're good. We're good. But if you watch the video and you end up liking it, Hey, go ahead. I, I drop, I'm gonna try and start dropping two videos a week. So uh, yeah, you'll get to see me more if you hit that subscribe button. So as the title suggests, I bought a $70 bottle of ketchup. <laughs> if you're not tracking abominable toys linked up with a really, really creative toy designer. His name is Asket1. He does all kinds of cool street art vibe types of toys. He's done can bots, which are little spray can robots. He's thrown his flair on there, made it a little different, made it himself. And uh, he linked up or with Abominable Toys, or Abominable Toys linked up with him, one of the two, and they collabed on a Sket One SketchUp Chomp saw the pictures for it it's so amazing oh i can't wait to open this thing so fun fact before we get in this box chomp boxes usually aren't this shape so i'm assuming this ketchup bottle chomp is going to be very tall uh and i have a story that goes along with this chomp oh man so it was early in the morning, I was at work, and I heard that there was going to be a chomp drop today, and it was going to be a sket one chomp drop. So I could not miss this thing, right? So I was at work all day on Abominable Toys, <laughs> refreshing, refreshing, refreshing all day long. So three o'clock comes along and uh, it's time for me to get off work and they still haven't dropped this thing. So I'm like, man, they're gonna drop it when I'm driving. It's not gonna be fun. <laughs> so luckily my daughter takes dance and she was at dance practice until about 4.40 ish, you know? So I had time <laughs> to sit around refreshing my thing. Oh man. <sighs> Dance practice is over, I pick up my daughter, we get in the car, and uh, we have to go pick up my other daughter, my tiny daughter, from her school. So we go to school, and it's getting close to five o'clock, and I said, they're gonna drop this thing at five. Sign out my daughter, get her in the car, and I'm scrolling, refreshing, and then finally there's a change. And it says, <laughs> A bottle of toys will be back soon and it showed some password enter to enter the store. Oh no, it's happening. It's happening. This I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But my phone is at 3%. <laughs> so I'm looking at the phone. The time is now like 4.55, 4.56. And uh, I send a message to the wife saying, hey, very important chomp I think is dropping at five o'clock. My phone's about to die. Five o'clock comes around. I get the password. I go to the site and I click the punch in the code and my phone dies. Oh, talk about heartbroken. I was so, so sad. I've been waiting all day for this and then the phone dies right as I'm trying to buy it, right? Well, I get home. Me and the girls walk in the house, I put my phone on a charger, and it takes a little while to charge up your phone to where you can, you know, uh, turn it on. <laughs> turn it on, the wife sends me a message saying, I got it, shows me a screenshot. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky she ended up getting it. It was actually a different Sket1 chomp than we expected. We were thinking it was going to be this Sket1, which is like, uh, this was originally planned for DesignerCon, but DesignerCon kind of canceled out. And I personally did not know that there was going to be a different chomp designed by Sket1. 
and uh, I'm actually kind of glad it is because I like this this here ketchup bottle better than this here. Um, uh, I, I guess this is just a fancy art design of his. But uh, yeah, so excited. Let's go ahead and crack this baby open. I found my knife. I, I cleaned up my desk today and I found my knife. But let's go ahead and crack open this chomp. So here we go. This is how Plastic Empire shipped it to us. It looks like it's in a sorter of some type. So I knew this was coming in and I've seen other of my friends on YouTube post their videos and I haven't watched them because I want to get a good reaction for myself. Oh, that is cool. So this sorter box is actually a fancy sorter box. Check it out. It's got some designs on there. And if you look closely, there's some different I don't know if this is gonna be like future toys for the Chomp universe, but there's like a dinosaur and then there's something that looks like a boiled egg in there. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, these are cool. There's a bunch of Chomps and sweet looking box. This is the first time that they've actually sent one in a sorter box. Oh, check it out. SketchUp on the outside of the box. Nothing around the rest, but that is Super cool, I really enjoy it. And oh, check it out. Inside the sorter is the Chomp box, wrapped up in saran wrap. Well, I say saran wrap, that's just me being an old man. It's not really saran wrap, it's in a plastic bag. <laughs> Sweet box. Okay, check it out. Here is the Abominable Toys Chomp collaboration with Sket1 and his SketchUp. That is so cool. Tomato ketchup, Sket1. And then my daughter noticed this on the picture. <laughs> she said, there's a green chomp where the green tomato should be on the Heinz ketchup bottle. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> she picked that up right away. <laughs> But then we go around to the side and you see the actual ketchup logo there. That's really cool. And on the back, a little bit of brief explanation and then you get the little check, uh, the ketchup little detail there. That's cool. And then there's nutritional facts on the other side, which is really stinking awesome. Oh, oh I just read the I just read the ingredients. Listen to this. Fresh tomato concentrate made from ripe tomatoes, distilled vinegar, BLT Troopin corn syrup, I am okay, Tits Crew flavor, <laughs> salt, spice, sket freshness and power, natural skills to pay the bills. <laughs> that is so dope, man. <laughs> they gave a brief history of who designed this and everything. We got designed by Sket One, and then Benjamin, Sue, and Connor uh, McConnell are the founders and originators of Abominable Toys and Chomp. And, oh man, I'm just so ready. Uh, let's open this. Like I said, this is a little bit different type of box. It's a lot taller than any other chomp that I've opened. So I wonder how tall the figure is. It says eight inch vinyl figure on top. So let's see. Typical packaging for chomp. The chomp itself is inside some foam and they put a foam little cover layer on top of it like this. See, there is a foam layer, and then we are going to pull it down, and there is the chomp, and another baggie. Let me show you guys outside of the box. This says, one of the original BLT Troopers, Sket One, has represented quality and authenticity for more than 30 years. A unique combination of the freshest ingredients for that full OG freshness that you expect in a ketchup. Then on the top and bottom sides, we have the top of the chomp. And then Sket One's little signature logo there, right up there. That's neat. So there's actually a little ketchup lid topper that this goes on top of this. Does it open and close? I don't want to break it. No, it does not. That's gonna be neat. This red just pops on this guy. So there we are. There is the Sket One SketchUp Chomp. And if you want to, you can attach the bottle on top of his head somehow. Eep. Mine does not fit in there. Yeah. I can't get my lid to completely go in there correctly. I think there's a little bit too much vinyl in it. Like it didn't get uh, formed all the way. Cause this will not 
it just will not squeeze down in there and if you look on there there is like a form fitting like there's only one way this thing fits and it just does not fit oof anywho let's see if i can squeeze it in there come on come on i really want this to work come on fit in anywho Let's look at the figure. It has the, look at that bright red. That bright red is fantastic. Fantastic, and it's got the Sket One little label logo right there, and then the nutrition facts on the back. Man, that red just pops, 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 pops. It also comes with a ketchup base. If you look on there, it says Sket One X Abominable Toys. It fits right there on his feet and when you display him outside of the box it looks like he's standing on a puddle of ketchup all right real quick i did fix it <laughs> it took a little shaving of the little uh stuff on the bottom there but i did fix it i'm gonna have to shave a little bit more to get it snug on there if you can see it's elevated but all i did was take a knife and go after the little just shave, shave, shave a little bit on the uh, little rim there. But boom, there we go, I fixed it. Let's go ahead and throw this guy on the spinner and get a full 360 degree look. Let's go. think is that not a cool figure big shout out to the ultra members club you guys mean the world to me thank you guys so very much for supporting the channel we had fun last what is it wednesday we had a whole lot of fun wednesday we went live opened up some boxes and uh, i actually won the mystery box challenge little group opening we had uh, it was a whole lot of fun so be prepared to see more of the ultra members club interaction live streams in the future because i had a blast they had a blast we're gonna keep doing it all right guys if you like what we saw today hit that subscribe button share me with your friends watch these videos and always remember I'll catch you on the flip side